So, how long have you lived here at 28 Barbary Lane? I moved here in 1966. The LGBTQ classic, A Tales of the City, is back with a modern spin. Not bad to have a job for 25 years. And Laura Linney is reprising her role as the lead actress, Marianne Singleton. In the early 90s, you know, the, the, even the phrase LGBTQ didn't exist. You know, it was a very, very different world. And it's, you know, the whole uh, ability of how people are able to identify themselves and how they're able to express themselves and live their lives is drastically different. So it was, it was the, really the right time to, to bring this show back. She joined the cast for the premiere in New York City Monday night at the Metrograph on the Lower East Side. I watched the show when it came out in the 90s and I loved it and then um, the, getting the chance to be a part of the world was really a dream. Ellen Page plays a queer character. Um, I really loved playing Shauna because she's complicated. Shauna has a, a fair amount of baggage um, and uh, I think she tries to disguise it with a lot of wit and sarcasm. The Netflix series is a continuation of the classic novels by queer author Armistead Moffin, which was turned into a miniseries back in 1993. The most important thing to remember is that we have been incredibly faithful to the spirit of the books and to the spirit of Armistead's world. Laura Linney isn't the only actress part of the original cast. It means a lot to be able to pass on to the younger generation. And while the storyline focuses on a series of present-day San Francisco adventures, cast members say a lot of the scenes were taped right here in the Bronx. A good time. Had another live look at where this premiere was held tonight. You can see things are starting to wrap up. Tales of the City will be released on Netflix on Friday. We're live on we're live tonight on the Lower East Side. Jennifer Bisram, Pix 11 News. All right.